Hey there, this is Steve Horseman with Good Guys to Great Men. Thanks again for watching today. I'm down here in my shop this morning and I thought I'd shoot this quick video to talk about a story that I heard not too long ago from a woman I was talking to. And so the story is really applicable to every man listening, but this woman was very, very inspiring to me the way she told the story. And it's kind of funny because she said that she had been having uh, trouble with her husband. She'd been showing up kind of uh, bitchy and whiny and complainy. She's been uh, grumpy to him and everything's been going bad. And she had a long period of blaming him mostly for all the problems. And she said, I had an epiphany. And I said, what was it? She said, I had an epiphany. And that was, what if I decided that I didn't need to react to him? What if he was reacting to me? What if I just decided that today I was going to show up as if I'm wildly in love with him? What if I chose to love him? Not just in my heart, but in my actions, the way I treated him, the way I thought about him. What if I did that? I said, well, how'd that work out for you? She said, I did it the other day. I woke up and I looked out the window and I decided to smile and be grateful for the day. And then when he woke up, I rolled over and I smiled at him and I gave him a hug and a kiss. And I said, I love you. I'm going to love you today. And he said, oh, really? She goes, yeah, I've decided that I can do this. I can love you today. Tomorrow looks pretty good, too. And he got pissed. She thought that would make him happy, but he got mad. She goes, why are you mad? He goes, well, it sounds like you're threatening me. It sounds like some kind of ultimatum or that I'm on trial, that maybe you'll love me today, but you won't love me tomorrow. That, how am I supposed to feel about that? And she's going, wait, wait, that, that's not what I'm saying. What I want you to know is that I realize I've had a part in all this. I'm starting to see that this goes both ways. And if I decide to wake up grumpy and angry and bitchy and, and accusing you of everything and blaming you for everything, how could I possibly hope for anything to get better here? And my epiphany, she said, is that I have the choice. I have the choice to decide how I'm going to think and how I want to treat you. And, and I'm taking responsibility for the fact that I haven't been thinking good things and I've been letting a lot of fear of the future and what I'm thinking, where this is going, get me upset. And so I decided that I have control over what I do today. Tomorrow I don't. Right now is all I need to focus on. In fact, worrying about tomorrow has been distracting me from focusing on what I'm doing right now. And he's, he's starting to get it. He's not too sure. She goes, does that make sense? Because when I said that tomorrow looks pretty good too, I'm saying that I have the ability to decide tomorrow again, to love you again. And this doesn't need to be attached to anything you do for me because I want to, I want to prove it to myself that I can control how I show up, how I think. And of course, she was telling me she was hoping that after a long time of doing this, he would become inspired to try it himself, to decide that only today matters, that all you needed to do was worry about one day at a time, and that's between now and bedtime. And uh, I don't know how it turned out yet. The experiment is still on, but she's a hell of a lot happier. She's a hell of a lot happier because what she said was that I am now liberated. I'm now liberated from having to worry about what he's going to say or do or what tomorrow might bring. And I'm liberated now to show up and behave and think the way I want to without measuring it always against his energy and how he's doing or whether he's happy with me or not. And she said she feels a lot better. So what's the message for you? Obviously, you can do this too. What if she's just reacting to you? What if you saw the world of women as just reactions to who you are and when you show up? What if you owned the choice to decide how you're going to think about your day and your value and the gifts that you bring to the world? What if you decided that you were going to love? What if you just chose to love and be loving, be kind, be respectful, be friendly, be goofy, be funny, be sexy, but whatever, be who you want to be without always measuring it against the reactions of others? Most men I coach say when they achieve this mindset, it is the most liberating thing they've ever experienced. They've never known how easy a day could be when they stop reacting to everything going on outside them and take ownership of what's going on inside them. So that's my tip for you today. Think about that. Tomorrow's another morning. Think about looking out the window. Pick three things you're grateful for. Smile because that'll re release good hormones inside you. And then look at her. And look at her with an intention of love and respect and kindness. See how it goes for you. Let me know. Shoot me an email. If you want to talk more, you can get me at steve at goodguystogreatmen.com or at the website at goodguystogreatmen.com. Click on the contact loop, uh, loop <laughs> link. Click on the contact link if you'd like to fill out an application and have a longer conversation by phone. Take care. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.